The Itcher Burst on Warzone Pacific is actually a extremely underrated assault rifle and I haven't seen anyone talk about it. I was using it yesterday and it literally is like a one burst to the upper body and most of the time it's going to two burst anyone anyway. It's very accurate, very reliable and this is the class you want to use. As always, straight to the point videos, subscribe if you like them and leave a like as well. So the first attachment you want to use is the Mercury Silencer. This is going to increase the recoil control and also the sound suppression. And then you want this barrel which is going to increase the bullet velocity, range and accuracy. Then want the M1930 Strife Angled Underbarrel. This is going to increase the accuracy, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Basically just making this a very accurate weapon. For the magazine you want to use the 32 round drum, make sure you are using this 32 round mag, there is another one but this one decreases the damage and also the bullet penetration and range and bullet velocity so there isn't really much point in using this one. This one would be better at close range but this one is better at long range. Make sure to use the lengthened ammo type, this is going to increase the bullet velocity which is very important, basically going to make your weapon do more damage at those longer distances. And then we have the fabric rear grip which is going to increase the ADS speed, the sprint to fire speed and also the hip fire accuracy. We don't care about the hip fire accuracy, we're mainly using it for the other two things. Uh, you know, the ADS time, the sprint to fire time, very very important on pretty much every weapon if you want to win more gunfights. For the optic you want to use this one, this is the new 3x optic, it increases the recoil control accuracy and it's a very very clean scope. For the stock, use the padded grip stock. This is going to increase the recoil control, flinch resistance, accuracy, and recoil recovery. And it makes this weapon literally have like no recoil. This thing doesn't move. Then we have the vital perk, or you can use the sleight of hand perk. Vital is going to do a little bit more damage, and the sleight of hand is going to make you reload faster. It does have 32 bullets, so you might want to use sleight of hand, but if you're okay with just 32 bullets, Vital is going to increase the damage. And then the final perk is fully loaded. Here's the full loadout if you want a screenshot. Make sure to subscribe for more, leave a like and also comment down what class you want next.